And so we came to the final stage of the five days that made up the Volta Algarve. And after a punishing time trial on stage four, it was the big test and an iconic finish up to Malau. He started in Albufeira, Ethan Hayter, who picked himself up off the floor, plenty of injuries for him, leading this man, Rodriguez, by just 12 seconds overall at the beginning of the day. Sam Bennett responded in green and Quinn, Sean Quinn, in the Young Riders classification jersey. So, about to get underway from Albufeira, destination Malau, a distance of 170 kilometres, but plenty of climbing, as you can see. Well, the early tests were going to draw out a breakaway, not least because there was a possibility Sam Bennett may well lose the green jersey should Danny Van Poppel have been up and snatched the two intermediate sprints that came early on. Well, Bennett was up front. The chase was being led mainly by Ineos Grenadiers and W52 FC Porto on behalf of Shao Rodriguez. It was always going to be about the final climbs. Well, the breakaway started to be wound in. Luis Fernandez was part of Radio Popular that had been in the break and he'd moved into the lead of the King of the Mountains competition courtesy of taking the first of the intermediate climbs, categorised as three, but carrying enough points to put him into the blue jersey. Pre-race favourite Benjamin Thomas had rolled the dice on occasion with Michael Shackman out of the breakaway. But here Sam Bennett was doing a great job of making sure that he could offer up a back wheel potentially to Casper Askreen, who'd moved into third place after the time trial and was determined to find time on this day. And with Bennett up front, likewise with Morkov in the breakaway, it would be their wheels that he'd be hunting down should he try it on the penultimate climb. Well that dealt with and Bennett had survived. He was doing a fantastic job. There was the Danish champion Askren on the back wheel of Morkov. Could he possibly find some space? Well, Delcos Fernandez was the last man standing from the breakaway, but was inevitably going to get wound in. He was to exchange places with Alessandro Fideli, who came out of the pack uh, to make a nuisance of himself. Still the hunt for that last coveted stage win. But there was a bigger prize to be had. W52 FC Porto were massed at the front in numbers. Their blue jerseys there for all to see. Likewise, the King of the Mountains blue jersey sported on this day by Rodriguez himself, who trailed, don't forget, Hater by just 12 seconds. What would be the battle plan? Well, Askri knew that Rodriguez would go for it. Askri had moved into third place after the time trial. Hater had held on doggedly after remounting his bike after that tumble. He was carrying the scars today. And indeed, that fall clearly had an impact. The gap was starting to open up. Askreen and Rodriguez were there out front, and would they impose themselves? Of course they would. It was a drive for the line, and in the end, Elie Gersbert of Team Arkea Samsic it was that took the lead, with Rodriguez staying with him. Rodriguez with the bigger of the prizes up for grabs. Gersbert had done so much and that fantastic climb to Foyer, only to miss out. But he made good this time with a fantastic stage win. The question is, what would be the time gap as Rodriguez was going to cross the line in second place? The clock began. And in the end, the answer was 21 seconds would separate Rodrigue and indeed Hater at the line. In so doing, Rodrigue moved in to top spot at absolutely the right moment. Kasper Askreen doing enough finishing in front of Hayter to secure a podium place, but the win went to Portugal. Elie Gesbert took the day then, but Rodrigue supreme. Hayter, 21 seconds in arrears, meant that overall there was a gap between them of just nine seconds, but the jersey transferred to the Portuguese. Gesbert couldn't have been more delighted with his stage win. He said it was great preparation, of course, for deeper into the season. João Rodriguez bringing joy to Portugal and indeed the Algarve, this famous win. So brave in the time trial, and even more so, I guess you might say, in the run-up to Mala. Askreen riding out the podium. It was Quinn that took the young rider's jersey for Hagen's Berman. King of the Mountains went to the man who was in the breakaway, Luis Fernandez, today, and the green jersey to Sam Bennett. Hugely popular win. The Algarve has a Portuguese champion, and that goes down very nicely indeed. Wonderful race.